Hey, all you Sky Brothers and Sky Sisters out there in skydiving land and blue skies. I'm sure you're all getting excited for the 2015 jumping season and having your safety days at your local drop zones. Um, I've been to one so far already. Um, I had this one uh, project for this season that I wanted to do, and that is to have a nice quick release mechanism on my Bonehead Revolve helmet. Um, as you know, a camera can be a snag point, and in that, such an emergency, you want to be able to cut away and release uh, the helmet and get rid of it as quick as you can. So, first up, this is my uh, Bonehead Revolve helmet that I've had for uh, several years now, and I quite like it. Um, one of the main reasons being that it has this very simple one-handed operation for lowering and uh, raising the visor. And you can even jump with it as an open face helmet um, if you just leave the visor in the up position here. Um, you can also take the visor completely off and just like jump with sunglasses or something. Um, I have a uh, Oakley wind jacket sunglasses that work fine in strong winds. Um, so there's my camera setup. It's a contour on top and a Sony AZ-1, which is a fairly new model, on the bottom. It's quite tiny and not much uh, bigger than my thumb as you can see. So it's, uh, it's a nice camera. Um, the top one is set up just to take uh, 5 megapixel still photos every second and the bottom one to take uh, HD video. Um, the nice thing about this contour mounting rail um, that Contour has had for years is that in an emergency one thing you can do is just if you had a snag on the back of the camera which is not that likely given the the profile at the back which I'll show you in a second you can just slide the camera off and there you go um, snag problem gone so that's uh, the first line of defense you just slide the camera off and there's enough force there that it keeps it on um, when you don't want it to come off, but it doesn't take too much to slide it off if you need to. And you can see at the back, there isn't uh, too much for it to snag on to, uh, for lines snag on to, except uh, possibly if they came from the bottom of the Sony camera. But the back of the contour, if I, and for years I only use the contour, so there's not much there. It can, the line, uh, wouldn't ha have much of a point to trap because of the rail back here that would kind of block it. So there's the setup, but it's all, always uh, doesn't hurt to have a quick release mechanism on a helmet. It's a good idea. And if you don't have one, well, here's a quick and easy way that you can uh, retrofit your um, Fastex buckle helmet, which is quite common with something uh, much better. So to start, what I did was bought these um, motorcycle helmet um, clips, a quick release clips. They have this little uh, cloth tab which you use to release the mechanism and the spring-loaded uh, catch that catches this uh, tongue with triangle serrations. And it's quite solidly built with fairly thick gauge steel it seems. Um, nice nickel-plated uh, hardware and this would go on your strap, your helmet strap here, and the other end onto the other strap, uh, this metal part here where the strap goes through. Um, unfortunately, you'll probably have to um, take off the metal bit here in order to easily put it through your original strap as I did here. Um, because you don't want to cut that or open it in any way and have to re-sew it and that's a big hassle. So what I did was just, you can see the rivet there, just take that and just with a small drill bit, just drill it, drill that uh, riveted uh, piece so that it frees the pin, which you can see here. So drilling it through at the top with a, drill bit just slightly bigger than the pin itself will just uh, allow it to come out easily. And once you have that, then you have the little metal black piece and then you can just easily pass that through your original uh, strap and then take a number 4x40 um, screw here, 
I found these brass ones at Canadian Tire. They're fairly cheap. And the matching nut. And then just feed that through the original plastic tongue. And then put a little bit of blue Loctite on it just to keep the nut from uh, coming loose. And there you go. And then just tighten that at the end. And there you go. Reassembled. And you're good to go. Um, you can also... Uh, put a cotter pin and then fold the ends if you want to do it that way, but I find this works quite well it looks nice and you won't have a little sharp edge of a cotter pin at the end So once you have that you have this very simple to operate quick release mechanism that Just as soon as you pull this it releases and you can see the tongue there with the triangular serrations and that goes through here and then when you lift up the red tab, it doesn't catch on those serrations, and then just slides off easily. There you go. Now, the next part is you have to make a handle, as I did here, out of some fairly heavy gauge uh, red wire, red, you know, indicating its emergency use kind of item. And with some heat shrink tubing, some red heat shrink tubing. So what I did was just pass the wire through, fold it once, and then put it through the original cloth loop. You can also take the cloth loop off if you want, put it through the slot there, and then fold it around. Um, have the heat shrink tubing over it, and then shrink it with a heat gun. And there you go, looks nice, nice clean finish. And then at the other end, same thing, just make one loop, put it under the original screw that holds the um, the strap of the helmet and then you can see underneath there you have right there where the nut is so and then the nut goes over a washer over the original strap and then over the uh, loop of wire and then Back to the other side where there's the finishing washers there and here you go this is it in action just put on your helmet this camera slip it on and in an emergency just there you go and away it goes and once more simple and I made the wire loop uh, fairly large so that in emergency you're not trying to find this little a uh, tab that may be flapping in the wind or what have you um, but instead you have this nice big loop that you can just catch your hand on as you're just clawing at your face just there you go and nice and solid easy to put on easy to take off and this is with the visor down there we go and then just grab and away it goes well we'll see you at the uh local drop zone and have a good season and blue skies.